In livestock, researchers indicated that 42% of the agricultural GDP and 12% of the national GDP is contributed by this subsector. This has given a platform to the county government of Kilifi to heavily invest in issuance of dairy cattle, livestock vaccination, and artificial insemination programs, among other incentives to empower farmers on livestock productivity. Through partnership with World Bank under the Kenya Marine Fisheries Social Economic Development Project Kemsfed, the county government has distributed dairy cows, goats and sheep and also vaccinated over 3,000 animals to cushion them from diseases. Kilifi boasts of vast semi-arid land, agricultural research institutions and provides a strategic livestock transit region for animals from the northern counties. The county is also strategically located between Mombasa and Lamu ports, which are transit zones for livestock export to Middle East and as far as Europe, making Kilifi a cornerstone in livestock growth. <laughs> tuliomba mradi wa ngombe ili tuendelee maisha yetu na watoto wetu walipokuja wakatueleza tukafundishwa tukaenda seminar tukasoma mara kwa mara ofisa anaja tukufundisha mpaka akajafundisha hali ya kungombea maziwa ilivyo na hali ya kuwapa chakula na hali ya kuwa unafanya kutoa maziwa tukaenda hata tulipofika hapo ndio kutambua kwa tutakuja tuta tuletewe. Kwa sasa hii nasema shukrani kubwa kwetu wanachama wa Msaumila Bundika kwa sababu tumepata wengi waliomba lakini wali, walikosa. Sisi ni bahati kwetu na ni furaha kwetu. Shukrani sana. Kwa sasa tunaomba tuendelee na hivi tunaona tutabadilika kwa maisha yetu. Watoto wetu watakuwa vizuri na sisi pia tutakuwa vizuri. Nasema ni asante. Mimi furaha yangu ni jua vyo mwangu. Najua mimi maisha yangu pale nilipotoka nilikuwa ni, ni, ni kona tabu lakini sahii mimi na mimi na hakika nitabadilika mwangu nyumbani. Na watu, mimi taunuka na watoto wangu. Hata nikafariki ja leo mimi naachia watoto wangu wanaendelea na mradi wabadilike maisha yao. Gavana wetu Mngaro nampa shukrani kubwa kwa sababu ametusimamia akatuletea mradi hata nikamuona ja leo mimi Sina cha kumpa lakini shukrani yangu ni kwamba ni asante sana kwake na Mungu amweke azidi kwa na mare, ma, maisha marefu. Tulianza kikundi kwanza kikundi hichi tukaanza nyimbo nyimbo tukawa tunaingia kwa mazishi kwa matanga kwa msiba mpaka kwa harusi. Tukakuja tukakaa tukaona yeye haina fadhila. Tukaanza kikundi cha kulima cha ulimaji tukalima tukamaliza na tukaendelea tukaja tukona baada mazao haipai haipai haitoi hai, hai vizuri tukakaa tena tukaona kikundi tukaanzilisha tukaanza mradi mradi huu tukapata maofisa wakatupatia makaratasi tukajaza tukapeleka tukangojea tukaletewa paka nikoletewa tukashukuru paka saizi tukaanza kufundishwa kumaliza kufundishwa kufaidi nyasi na ufugaji tupomaliza kufundishwa ufugaji na hii shimo tupomaliza tukaenda kwa heshima kwa semina tukachukulia semina kufundishwa mwezi mwili tukamaliza tukatoka hapa kwa kuwa ndo tunangojea. Na hivi leo mradi ukatokea na tumepokea mradi wetu wa ngombe na tunatoa shukrani kwa watu wote wale ambao wametusimamia na kuti, kutuzingatia sisi kwa maisha yetu na hivi sasa tunaamini kule tunakotoka tumetoka kwa shida. Na tulikuwa hatujui tunakoenda tunaenda wapi mwelekeo tunaelekea wapi lakini kwa hivi sasa 
kwa huu mradi ambao tumeupata tumeamini kwamba tumetokea kwa shida na tutatoka kwa shida tutatoka tutaishi maisha mazuri kwanza sisi mpaka watoto wetu toa maziwa na kuuza na kuendelea nyumba watoto wetu walikuwa mara kwa mara kwa mara wanayofunguzwa skuli tunashindwa na kuwapatia pesa anakaa nyumbani kitu siku mbili tatu na tafuta ndio mtu anaenda anda skuli lakini kwa hivi sasa tunaamini hizi shida zote tutazimaliza tazimemalizika kwa kuamini yote watoto wetu watasoma na raha na wataishi maisha mazuri na sisi na tutaishi maisha mazuri kuliko maisha ya mwanzo according to Kemsed Cliff County coordinator Lucy Kapombe the project targets groups with special interest in sustainable development and climate change resilience programs. Hivi leo ni kwamba tumepata nafasi ya kupeana mradi wa kwanza katika miradi 35 ambayo iko katika awamu ya kwanza ya mradi huu. Awamu hii ya kwanza inafadhili takriban milioni 98.8 na ina kuna vikundi 17 vya fisheries ambao pia vitafaidika mwezi huu ambao ni maboti 14 ambayo yako katika hali ya kumaliziwa kuna vikundi tisa ambavyo ni vya livestock kuna vikundi vitano ambavyo ni pia ni vya agriculture viwili vya environment na pia viwili vya social tunapoongea saa hii mradi wote mpaka mwaka wa elfu, uh, financial year 2022-2023 tuko na 726 million ambayo already imekuwa approved kwa hivyo tuna, tunanuia kwamba uh, mwaka wa 2025 tutakuwa tumegonga bilioni moja na kuendelea kwa kutumefadhili uh, mradi huu katika kaunti yetu ya Kilifi. Mwanzo tulipoanza ungeona ngombe za maziwa nzuri kama hizi. Ukiangalia sasa hii unaona kuna zile ambazo ziko dogo ziko pande wa, wa, wa ile local local grid lakini unaona there's a big improvement tuna ngombe kama zile unakuta zile sasa ni zile improved zile improved kama tunapiga ma, maendeleo tuna hatua tunasonga mbele so tunataka labda baada ya muda mfupi ikiwezekana tuwe na ngombe ambazo ziko improved kama zile kila mahali ili tuzalishe maziwa kwa wingi sababu tuko na mitambo ya maziwa ambayo tumejenga pia county government imejenga ambazo changamoto ni ile e, maziwa hatujapata kwa wingi tukipata maziwa kwa wingi ndio hiyo mtambo pia itaanza kufanya kazi vizuri na soko ni iko ni kubwa tuko na soko yetu hapa Kilifi tuko na soko e, Mombasa so ni sisi tutie juhudi tu tuzalishe kwa wingi pia kwa mambo ya, ya nyama hapa tuko na vichinjio tuna tunachinja mifugo hapa nyama tunakula sisi wenyewe hapa soko yetu hapa ya, ya, ya kilifi lakini pia e, nyingi inaenda pia Mombasa kwa hivyo upande wa nyama pia soko iko ni sisi juhudi yetu tu tufanye juhudi tushirikiane na wakulima ili tuzalishe mifugo kwa wingi Philip Wario the chief of SA in charge of livestock development at the Kilifi County Government says that dairy cows given to the farmers can produce up to 20 liters daily to support the lives of the farmers. Mr. Wario says the government has procured bull semen and liquid nitrogen to conduct artificial insemination to over 10,000 dairy cattle to boost production. Kwa sasa ile dairy kubwa zaidi ambayo tuko nalo ni lile la Manyeso. Manyeso Dairy Processing Plant inahitaji um, a uh, lita a uh, 1000 ili kuendelea kufanya kazi. Sasa hiyo ndio target yetu kuhakikisha kwamba tumesaidia na kujenga uwezo wa wafugaji wetu katika yale maeneo ya uh, Kilifi North na South tuone ya kwamba tumewasaidia ikuwe ni major collection center ya maziwa pia tuna process for value addition na pia tuweze kuwaunganisha hao wakulima wa maziwa na major dairy companies kama Uh, Brookside cases hizo zote tuone ya kwamba tumesaidia hao wakulima um, siku tu break even hapana kuhakikisha kwamba wamepata profit ile wanahitaji na tumeboresha hasa maisha ya mkaji wa Kilifi Kilifi County ukiangalia sekta ya ufugaji uh, tuna contribute 40% of our GDP kama county naona ya kwamba 
pia tuko na opportunity ya ku export mifugo. Tumeweza ku export mifugo wetu kwenda Taki, Comoros, Saudi Arabia na hizo zote zinasaidia kuregesha pesa kwa mifuko ya mwana kilifi. Kwa hivyo ili kuboresha soko tumeona tujenge masoko ikiwemo ile ya bamba tushajenga na pia saa hii tuko na mipango ya kujenga soko pale Mariakani soko moja alafu tunaweza tuna, tumepanga pia tumekia pesa tunajenga soko nyingine pale Kanagoni alafu pia tuna mpango wa kuboresha na kujenga soko jipya uh, pale Marafa tuone ya kwamba wale wafugaji uh, wanaweza kupata soko pia tumekuwa na soko pale Tsangasini katika wodi ya uh, Kayafungo Ward ambayo ilijengwa uh, mwaka ule wa 2014 uh, lakini kwa sasa majengo haiko sawa lakini kama county tunataka turekebishe tufanye renovation tuone ya kwamba tuko na masoko yetu hapa ambayo yameboreshwa pia tuna link hizi soko zetu na masoko kama ya Tana River na masoko ya Kwale kwa sababu hizi soko vile tumezipanga ni kwamba kila siku kuna soko ya ngombe mahali kama bamba ukienda siku ya Jumatano kuna soko na tumesema ili hizi tuzilink tutaweka siku ya Jumatatu pale Mariakani tunaweka siku ya Jumaine ikuwe ni pale Kanagoni na tuweze ku link diposa yule wa Kanagoni ngombe zake akiziuza yule ambaye amenunua anaweza peleka soko ile la Garsen na hadi hivyo hivyo mpaka tupeleke kwa ile mahali ambapo tuko na holding grounds ambayo imejengwa na serikali kuu pale Magogoni kule Lamu ambayo ni pote ambayo tunatumia katika hii idara ya ufugaji kutoa mifugo yetu kupeleka Saudia na Taki na Comoros kutoka pale ile poti ya Lamu Kilifi targets to become free animal disease export region with its natural geographical location and factors favoring the growth of animals natural resources like the Indian Ocean and the Sabaki River have greatly contributed to animal movement restriction in and out of county. In Kilifi County, I think this is an area where we have almost 60% of our land is arable. arable. And many times when drought hits, uh, all livestock all the way from our neighboring county cross into Kilifi County. So what we did was, uh, this vaccination campaigns will prevent. You see, when you are vaccinated, then you are in one way or another uh, being protected from maybe contacting any contagious disease which might uh, move from maybe one place to another. So what we have done is to ensure that we vaccinate all the livestock within Kilifi County. And going forward, you see, like Kilifi County is more like uh, protected. I mean, like it's covered well because we have the natural barrier river River Sabaki going all the way up down there and then on the other side we have the railway line this side we have the, 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 the what we call the Indian Ocean so we can what, what we are thinking as a department is to make this a uh, disease free zone by ensuring that we have a checkup point for all uh, livestock coming into Kilifi especially in those areas mainly they come through the side of is it Bamba, Bamba, Bamba on the other side there that's where they find their way in so if we're going to have a checker point there whereby we screen all the animals before coming into Kilifi then that one will be an advantage for us because uh, ha having animals all the way from let's say Tana River crossing through Sabaki to this side uh, at one point or another they'll have to cross through the river Sabaki so that one can be a very good point where we ensure that all the animals which are coming there Mifugo na fili biashara mzuri, lakini pia lazima tujitahadari. Na mimi ningependa siku moja watu wangu hao wa Wizara ya Kilimo na Mifugo eh, wa Department ya Ukulima uh, na Mifugo wapate fursa kwenda ma inchi inaitwa Botswana. Ambako leo ndio inchi ambayo ni ndogo lakini ina ina uwezo mkubwa wa kupeleka nyama kwa masoko ya nje kwa sababu kabla uvuke uingie katika kaunti na mfugo lazima kwanza mifugo ipimwe kuna zina, ine, kuna kama vile ambavyo ukifika hapo ukienda lazima uwe na mahali una, kwa migration lazima uwe clear duwe binadamu pia mifugo inafanya hivyo kwa hivyo tukitaka hii sehemu pia iwe e, free disease zone ama iwe ni sehemu ambayo haina ugonjwa wa kuathiri wanyama lazima tuwe na mikakati tofauti na mikakati tofauti ni kuhakikisha kwamba tuna na kisha kwamba katika sehemu zetu hazina wale wadudu wa kuathiri ngombe na pia haturuhusu mifugo ambayo inaingia katika kaunti ambayo hatujajua kama 
uh, inaweza kuambukiza mifugo yetu ambayo kwa